Hey BK Knights, thank you for coming back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing finger coils on my hair. This is the second time I'm trying this, so let's see how it comes out. So my hair is freshly washed and conditioned, and I separated my hair into five sections. All right, so I'm going to start with the first section, and I'm adding some leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strut and Grow line. I'm making sure my hair is saturated uh, with the leave-in just so I can have it hydrated while it's in the finger coils. And then I'm adding in some coconut oil to seal in that moisture. Then I'm applying some conditioner by Shea Moisture, the Raw Shea Butter Restorative Line. So within each section, I'm separating it and just pinning my hair away so I can make smaller sections within that section. And then I grab a little bit of the Eco Styler Gel, uh, the Professional Styling Gel Crystal, and I'm just applying it into my hair. And then I am combing out the little section so it can be fully detangled and then i am slowly twisting my root in one direction and as i'm twisting i'm holding so it doesn't unravel and then i'll use one hand to hold and then the other hand to twirl my hair all the way to the ends and i'm going slowly so you can see that i am twirling and holding twirling and holding until i get to the ends and at the ends i'm making sure that it's detangled all the way before i let it go so we're just gonna speed up the process because it's pretty self-explanatory and i'm just gonna complete these two sides the bottom left hand side and then the top of my head this is this section completed don't worry about the white uh, product left on my hair it should dry out and here is my completed full head of hair all of the finger coils each section all done in the shower so let's see how it comes out so obviously I feel like I did a good job because I am dancing and all right guys so this is day one here and um, I let it dry for about a day and a half. I'm using some olive oil on my hands and then I am taking each finger coil at a time and twisting in the opposite direction. So make sure you pull your finger coil out all the way once you're done unraveling it so you can see where your hair naturally separates so you can make each finger coil section into smaller sections if that's your preference. I wanted my hair to be a little bit poofy and big so I just kept unraveling each section into smaller sections. I didn't feel like it was coming out the way I wanted it to so I'm not too happy here. So let's see how it looks after I'm done the rest of the section. All right, so here I have my entire head unraveled and I'm not too excited about it because it's not what I expected it to be, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So I thought at first that it would be a fail, but it's not really a fail. It's it's okay, I'm, but I'm not happy. All right, so here is a full view of my entire head. And right now I'm just trying to decide what I wanna do with it, if I'm just gonna stick with it or if I'm gonna comb it out. So this is day two and I decided to slick it back a little bit and I just bobby pinned the front back. And I like this style. So here's day three and as you can see, it's a little bit like mushroomy to my head and as you all know i hate my hair shrunken so on day three i'm like yep i'm done with this 
I'm good. I just pinned it back just so I can show you guys how it looks. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to get rid of this style. So please comment below if you like the way my hair came out. If you'd like for me to try this style again. And also comment below if you've tried it and if you like it on your hair or if you'd like to try it. And thank you for coming back to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.